What's going on folks? My name is Joe aka J to the OE. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about the games that I picked up in January and also what I'm working on right now, what I'm playing through uh, through this busy time in my life. I can't believe it's already February. I feel like January was both quick and really long at the same time. Before we really start the video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Otherwise, let's do this. Alright, so I'm slowing down with my pickups uh, this year because really I'm trying to work on my backlog. I got, there were so many ga amazing games last year and I haven't had a chance to play all of them. And so I really want to take some time and play through my backlog and hopefully buy some games that came out last year for cheaper so that I could play them and beat them this year. So here's the first game that I picked up for the PS4, Knack. I hear a lot of mixed reviews on this thing. I got it for really cheap though, so I picked it up. Can't wait to get into this. I hear it's 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 pretty family friendly, so me and me and Juan might like to play this together. And yeah, so I saw a lot of good gameplay footage and I can't wait to get into this with Juan. The next game is X-Men Legends. I got this game pretty cheap at a pawn shop. It's kind of the X-Men, or it's kind of like Marvel Ultimate Alliance before Marvel Ultimate Alliance, except just with X-Men people. It's up to four players, and you know, it's a, it's 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 like a beat 'em up, beat 'em up RPG-ish uh, with X-Men characters. So you really can't go wrong. Um, I missed out on this when it first came out, and I've been looking for it, and I found it really for a good deal at a pawn shop. I bought this with a bunch of other games. So, X-Men Legends. Speaking of that pawn shop, I picked up a few, more than a few, uh, Xbox One games there. I got Assassin's Creed Chronicles, which I really think is an underrated Assassin's Creed. It sort of came out at the same time, like, um, Odyssey and, and those when Assassin's Creed kind of shifted its its focus. So this is three different kind of journeys and three assassins all in one game. I have never played this before, but man, that that's that's an assassin with a gun. And so that's different. And um, yeah, so I can't wait to get into this one. I've never heard of these two games, honestly, but they looked really interesting. Uh, Sticks, Shards of Darkness, which I hear is a stealth game, except you play as a goblin, and that is kind of like gollum -y, like Lord of the Rings. So that sounds really interesting, and I want to play it, so Sticks. And the other game I don't really know about is Prey. All I know about this game is that it's from the creators of the Dishonored series. And I really like Dishonored. So, I wanted to try this. Again, got it for super cheap at a pawn shop. So, um, why not? Can't wait to get into Prey. The next two games are in the Xbox Game Pass, but I really wanted them physically because I'm an idiot and I love physical media, or at least physical video games. And so, Halo 5 and Halo Master Chief Collection. These are... Especially this guy. Halo 5, eh, it's okay. You know, it. I wish you played more of uh, John Spartan. And I didn't really like the cat and mouse type game there. And my dog is over here. <laughs> hey, buddy. You want to say hi? Come here. So we're going to interrupt this program for a cute announcement. This is Alfred. He's a puggle. We named him after... Um, Alfred Pennyworth, Batman, because he's black and white, and so we thought he'd be nice and wearing a suit. So, this is this is Alfred. <laughs> All right, buddy. Big boy. Anyways, Halo Five, it was okay. I was on Game Pass, but I wanted it physically. But I really wanted Halo Master Chief Collection. This was crazy. Even though it first came out, it was terrible. Like it was so, it was a buggy mess. But now it, it, it's really good. I remember this was the last midnight release that me and my buddies went to. And then you know we we kind of had slow internet, so we got it at midnight. We went back home. It took us around two hours to download it. And then it didn't work. We wanted to play through Halo 1 that night on Legendary, but we didn't even get a chance to do that. We kind of gave up by like 3 a.m. and was like, man, well, hopefully they'll figure it out by the next morning, and they didn't. And yeah, but eventually they got it right, and we started playing, and it was great. 
But yeah, this goes through the original Halo trilogy and Halo Reach, and man, this this is really this is a really good buy right here. Good bang for your buck too. Watch this on a future uh, budget buying guide for Xbox One, because this is this is top notch right here. Then we're gonna finish off with a few Switch games. Snipper Clips Plus. Uh, this was one of the first games that came out on the Switch, at least the, one of the first games I saw. It was digital, and I played the demo, and I thought it was weird, but kind of hilarious. So, I've always been thinking about it, and then I heard it came out on physical, and I found this on Marketplace for super cheap, so I picked it up. This is something uh, me, Katie, and a few other friends like to play. It's up to four players, and so we play Snipper Clips Plus together. This one is a recommendation from Emily from Orbology, Shin Megami Tensei 5. Um, she heard that I really, really love Persona, and she recommended this game. So I picked it up, but I haven't played it because at the same time this came to my mail, Fire Emblem Engage came to my mail. <laughs> and so this is what I've been working on t uh, this month. Actually, what I did first was I finally beat Triangle Strategy. Um, in January, in the first of January. It took me a good like two or three weeks. I thought it was good. It, I kind of fell off of it towards the end, um, but man, it, it was really great. The story was cool, and it just it just was a tad long for me, a little long in tooth, but story-wise, it was great, and I didn't want to play it again to get like the really, really good ending, but I was satisfied with my ending. Uh, we uh, Basically, I got the Frederica ending, spoiler alert, and you know I'm, I'm satisfied with that. I, I like that one. And then uh, Fire Emblem Engage is what I'm playing currently. I'm on chapter 14 or something. Um, I really slowed down on playing this and I'm really enjoying it uh, more and more. I love the battle. I mean, I love Fire Emblem. Fanboy. So, I love Fire Emblem. But, you know, sometimes my brain uh, hurts. You know, it's been, I get, have long days and work. Sometimes I'll be working 11, 12 hours. Um, so... It's hard for me to play this every night. So what I play on top of this is the Xbox One game Hi-Fi. That just came out a few days ago, and I gotta tell you, it's underrated, man. It's, it's so good. It's like a rhythm action brawler, and you have to fight in a rhythm, and man, it's so much fun. If you, if you haven't played that on Xbox, I, I completely recommend it. It's super fun, super colorful. Honestly, my, my, my son likes to watch and like pretend play with me because of the music and he can bounce around. And so that's something that uh, me and him really like to enjoy. So Hi-Fi for Xbox One and Fire Emblem Engage are the things that I'm playing right now. Well, that's it. Hey, I appreciate you hanging out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.